All right, today I want to do a super quick video giving you some tips or some of my experience of how to pull lighter roast coffees using something like the La Pavonia Euro Piccola. Uh, this can be applied to some other manual lever machines similar to the Euro Piccola where there's just basically a boiler strapped to a lever assembly. First of all, uh, this is kind of an advice or tip, a tip from Claudio Santoro, who's the admin of the Lever Fever Facebook group. He's amazing. Um, I, I love talking with Claudio. The thing is, is when you turn your Euro Piccola on, this is what happens. So I've had my machine on for about 15, 20 ish minutes here. This is a post millennium machine. So if this green light is gone, that means that the machine is ready or the machine thinks it's ready. The issue with lighter roast coffees is that you want to have your group head as hot as possible, or uh, that's just a general tip there. Of course, it's really gonna depend on what type of light roast you're, you're pulling, but I like to have my group as hot as possible to maximize the extraction of my light roast coffees. The issue with the Europicla is that your relay here or whatever this light is connected to is mainly connected to whatever the boiler is saying. So it doesn't really care about what well your group is. So that's why we use temperature strips. And the thing with the temperature strip is that if you just turn your machine on, your, your group is not gonna be fully heated up. The machine's been on for 15-ish, 15, 20-ish minutes. So over the time, this temperature strip will eventually start filling out and you'll see the, uh, the, the, the the bars kind of fill up. You want your, for light roast coffee, you really want things to be in that 85, 90-ish Celsius area, like as, as far to the right as possible. And a great way to just do that is actually just, well, pump the lever. So every single time I dry pump the lever here, I'm not even introducing water here, but you'll gradually see uh, the bars fill up. So you see the temperature strip, really start filling up those numbers. So now I'm trying to reach that 90-ish area and I just keep dry pumping. So this is about what, 10, 15 dry pumps. And yeah, so now we've basically filled up all of our temperature strips, temp our temperature strips been really filling up. And this is the first thing you wanna do if you're trying to pull something light. So I'm gonna be pulling a lighter, vibrant coffee. This is the Leyu, which is a limited edition stuff, but yeah. You know, just really do this and you'll basically maximize the your chance of pulling a light roast coffee here. So um, as you can see, now I'm even hitting that 95 uh, Celsius area, which is uh, could be a little bit too hot depending on what type of coffee you're pulling. This is what happens when I flush water through. I just wanna show you again on the side. As you see, when we're introducing that boiling water, our temperature will spike above 95 into that 100 Celsius area because it's literally boiling water. Uh, what ends up happening with the pre-millennium models, I think, is uh, you just have to turn the machine off. I, I don't I don't own a pre-millennium, but uh, to, to lower your temperature. With the post-millennium model, if I just let this sit for a minute or so, my 100 Celsius temperature here will actually drop. But that just will tell you, depending on what type of light roast you're pulling, you may actually want to just flush water through here to increase your chances of extraction for this group head to be as hot as possible. And this is again a post-millennium model, so there is some amount of temperature regulation here. Uh, after letting it sit for a while, you'll see that my temperature has now dropped down to that 90 to 95 Celsius range. Uh, and that's gonna be, well, what I'm aiming for. Can always just do more dry pumps if I want to maintain the temperature, or I can just flush water to really bring the temperature up. Now let's talk about how to actually pull light roast. So beside the temperature issue with the Euro, Euro Piccola, the other issue with the Euro Piccola is the yield or how much water we basically can pull out of the machine. Uh, it's just because there's only so much water you can fit in this group. And I will recommend you do not Fellini movement for the Euro Piccola because there is no one-way valve inside of here. And what happens if you try to Fellini, at least in my experience, if I try to actually force more water into the puck, I just get chatting. I don't have a good time. So the optimization here is to just grind coarse, down dose, pull fast, and pull long. And that is really like a turbo shot here. I'm going to use a coarse grind size. I'm going to then use 10 grams and I'm gonna pull a one to three and get 30 grams out. You're gonna sacrifice a little bit of body here because we're pulling a longer ratio shot, but because we're using a light roast, we're actually going to be able to get the flavor notes. Using a higher flow rate here to pull the most out and extract the most 
out of these more difficult to pull light roast coffees. So I'm using a fairly coarse grind size there and that's only 10 grams. So uh, it's a 14 gram basket, but you can see how much space there is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the lever, all this water is gonna come into the puck and I'm gonna try to pull pretty fast. Depending on how coarse your grind size is, that's really gonna depend on what grinder you're using and what coffees you're using. This is what's gonna happen. So I guess I'll briefly time this, but you don't even really need to do that amount, uh, a lot of pre-infusion at all. And I'm just gonna pull down. It might splatter, it might not be pretty, but we're gonna pull fast and we're gonna pull long. So with this, I'm able to hit 30 grams easily. All of that happened pretty fast. This was only about 25-ish seconds for this entire shot. And it was easy to pull down, as you see. So my flow rate was really high. And as you can see here, looks good. Uh, this is 30 grams, 10 grams in, 30 grams out. And while you do, I guess, sacrifice on the crema a little because it's a longer yield, you're actually gonna be able to get that clarity that you might be desiring in those lighter roast coffees. So what I showcased there was just a really kind of standard turbo one to three fast flowing shot there. Uh, I did let it actually pre-infuse just a little bit longer by lifting lever up, the water was saturating the puck, and then I just pushed down that coarse grind size, fast flow rate allowed me to extract a ton out, and I got nice clarity out of that espresso shot. I just wanna add a little bit more context to this shot. So I'll link an article in the description that you can read, but basically, you kind of only need four to six bars with this type of shot. You don't actually need to, well, grind super fine. And you'll maybe even peak around four to five, six bars, and you'll extract a ton out of whatever coffee you're pulling. Let me show you something fun. This is called the Turbo Bloom, uh, which is basically the same exact shot I just showed you. Another great way to extract light roasts except we grind a little bit finer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bloom for just a few seconds uh, this is really gonna depend on what type of coffee you're using but play around with this adding the additional bloom phase in here will help us extract even more and we need a grind finer to compensate so here's how it works I'm gonna lift this lever up what's gonna happen is water is gonna come from the boiler into the group and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down just a little bit to introduce water into the puck and I'm gonna let it sit there, let it bloom. And then I'm gonna force the water through fast just like I did with the previous shot and it's gonna turbo. So this is the turbo bloom. Here we go. So water is now coming from the boiler into the puck. I'm pushing down just a little and I'm gonna leave it. Once I feel some resistance, now I see these those drops uh, you could totally change it to bloom time, but now I'm going to just push down fast. So we get that fast flow rate. I'm going to push down until I get 30 grams in the cup. All right. And that is a turbo bloom. There is the turbo bloom, the coffee I just pulled. Another great way to extract a lot out of your light roast. And as you see, you get crema. It's a one, two, three fast. So usually introducing the bloom in the beginning will really help you extract stuff. Um, I think it introduced a little bit of sweetness there, but maybe it's the coffee I'm using. Um, play around with it. Just another way to pull light roast coffees on something like the Europicola. Okay, so those were some tips on how to pull light roast coffees on the La Pavoni. First of all, make sure your temp is up there. It's gonna be very important for you to do that in order to pull light roast coffees. What you do want to make sure is not to go overboard with the, the temperature. If you get you see some weird boiling stuff, weird bubbling, that means your temperature is too high. Now, in terms of the two types of profiles I showed you, again, you want to go coarse, down dose, fast flow rate. These are not profiles for everyone. You just might not like this style of profile. You're sacrificing the body for the clarity in those notes, like being able to actually taste those notes. I think that trade-off is worth it because with these light roast coffees, I see some of these awesome fruity floral notes. I think I want to actually taste those rather than just taste texture. So that's for me, but this is not a style of espresso for everyone. With the turbo and blooming turbo styles of shots, try them out. They're really fun to pull and just experiment. Uh, it's really just the reason why I like the lever machine is just it's fun to just play around with things. These are just two profiles that will help you push you in the right direction and actually extracting the most out of your light rose coffees. But play around. It's really going to depend on what grinder, what coffee you're using. That's a quick video on how to pull light rose with the La Pavone Europicola and similar manual lever machines. Hope that was fun. Hope you learned something and I'll see you around.